This video will discuss atom types in molecular mechanics. In our previous video on parameters, we discussed that one desirable property of parameters would be to have them be transferable. So in general, what transferable means is that similar chemical systems uh, have parameters which we can use uh, from uh, related molecules. So for example, if we think about uh, you know, linear alkanes, so a series like methane, ethane, propane, butane, etc. We might say that, you know, this carbon is an sp3 carbon in some alkyl chain, and maybe whatever parameters we derive for that carbon, we might be able to use in ethane, or if we get it from ethane, might be able to use in propane or butane, etc. So we want to be able to use the same parameters for similar, uh, for similar atoms in similar situations. So we might have things like um, there's a parameter for uh, the strength of van der Waals interactions in amber, the amber molecular mechanics energy function, which we're going to be using in this chapter. So that parameter for the methyl carbon, we might want it to be the same for the ethyl carbon, for the propyl carbon, etc. Maybe their atomic partial charge, another parameter. We hope that those are fairly equal as well. We hope that they have fairly similar equilibrium bond lengths in their carbon-carbon bonds. So what we might want to do to encapsulate all of this information is define some aliphatic, aliphatic just meaning alkyl, some alkyl sp3 carbon atom type, which in uh, amber is de defined as CT, capital C, capital T. So in general, what you want is a, is a small handful, a small library of atom types, which are going to apply over a wide diversity of chemical structures in your intended applications. So for example, in amber, we have only, I believe, five different oxygen types. We have OW, the oxygen in water, OH, the oxygen in alcohols, OS, oxygen in ethers, O, the oxygen in amide, amides, or more specifically carbonyl type situations, and O2, the other oxygen in carboxylates. So you can imagine with this and a small handful of parameters, you can probably define a lot of parameters for a wide variety of chemical systems in different types of functional groups. So, for example, in the Amber uh, 95 paper the, from this citation here that I've been implementing on this GitHub repository, TMPChem Computational Chemistry, we have the Jupyter Notebook with a cloned copy of that in the directory scripts, molecular mechanics, mmlib, in this param.py module. I have the show here. These are all of the atom types in Amber. And these are where uh, the dictionary in Python that looks up the van der Waals parameters inside of my uh, programs here. So uh, you can see for each individual atomic element, there's a handful of, of atom types there, but there's not that many. And this is used to model pretty much every amino acid and nucleic acid and nucleic acid backbone, counter ions, uh, solution. Uh, this is pretty much a, a large fraction of simulations of biological macromolecules that use this small set of about 50 atom types. So that's pretty good in terms of the goal of transferability and using a small library of atom types over a large uh, intended uh, region of chemical space that our simulations are going to take place in.